What's up everyone, Ryan here. Today we are going to be making a tier list based on all Generation 1 Pokemon. Let's get to it. Alright, Bulbasaur is a solid first starter. He's really good against Brock and Misty, so... Solid. Ivysaur, it's cool. Solid. Venusaur, solid. Mega Venusaur is really good, so A tier. Charmander. It's cool. Charmeleon. It's cool. Charizard. S tier. Mega Charizard X. S tier. Mega Charizard Y. Shouldn't exist. Squirtle. Solid. Wartortle. Solid. Blastoise. Solid. Mega Blastoise is, well, not S, but it's cool. Caterpie, it's cute. I'll give it that. It's cute. I'll give it that. It's cute. It's cute. Metapod is bad. Butterfree is cool. Weedle, trash. Kakuna, trash. Beedrill is cool. Mega Beedrill. I'm a little biased towards Mega Beedrill because it was the first Pokemon I ever Mega Evolved in Pokemon Go. Yeah. You can you can find that out in in an episode in the latest installment of Pokemon Go Journeys. Link in the description below. So Pidgey, the solid first beginning game bird. Pidgeotto, cool, but it's horrible in the anime. Pidgeot is cool. Mega Pidgeot is all over the place. I mean, I love how Pidgeot got a Mega, but it doesn't really... It's definitely one of the more forgettable Megas, let's put it that way. Rattata, trash. Raticate, trash. Spiro trash. Firo, okay. Ekans, I think it's cool. Cobra, why did I say Cobra? Arbok is cool. Pikachu, well, what do you think? It's Pikachu. Raichu is cool. Sandshrew is alright. Sandslash is cool. Nidoran female is cool. Nidorina Forgettable. Needle Queen. Cool. Male Nidoran. Alright. Well, it's okay. It's alright. Nidorino. I actually like how it made... It actually made a recent appearance in the Pokemon anime. So, I like it. Needle King. Awesome. Definitely better than Nido Queen, in my opinion. So let's put Nido King in S tier. I'm sorry, I love Nido King, and I prefer it over Nido Queen a million times. Clefairy is solid. Clefable is broken. Vulpix cute. Nine Tails, it's okay. Jigglypuff, Jigglypuff, awesome in both. The anime and Smash Bros. Wigglytuff, definitely not as memorable as Jigglypuff. Zubat, okay. Golbat, you know what? Why am I putting Zubat in A tier? It's trash. Get get down there. Zubat, man. Golbat, well. Well, to the to the words of wisdom of of Sylveon from Project SNT, go home, Golbat. You're drunk. Oddish, all right. Gloom looks looks like it looks like it drank too much water. Vile Plume, cool but forgettable. Paris, forgettable. Parasect, who even remembers this thing? 
Venonat, cool. Venomoth, cool. Diglett, alright. Dugtrio, alright. Meowth, hilarious in the anime. Persian, good. Psyduck. Let's see. Psyduck. Psyduck is hilarious in the anime. It's A, but not S. Yeah, Psyduck hasn't been through the whole anime with Ash, so it's solid. But still, it did have some pretty hilarious parts in the anime. I'm not gonna lie. Golduck? Who even remembers it? Mankey? Alright. Primeape? It's basically the Bakugo of Pokemon, but okay. Growlithe? Cute. Arcanine? Awesome. Poliwag? Alright, I'm doing it for you, SML. Poliwag, Poliwhirl, Polyrath. I almost said Politoed. Abra, obnoxious. Kadabra, alright. Alakazam, it's good. Mega Alakazam is broken. Machop, alright. Machoke, okay. Machamp is cool. Bellsprout is okay. Weeping Bell. Victory Bell. Tentacool, obnoxious. Tentacruel is cool. I mean, how cruel would it be for me to say that? I'm not sorry. Geodude? It's alright. Graveler? Cool. Golem is cool. Ponyta? Cool. Rapidash? Cool. Sloking? I'm sorry. Slo Slowbroke? Good. Slowbro is good. Is cool. Mega Slowbro, why does this thing exist? Mag Magnemite is cool. Magneton is B. Farfetched. Why? Doduo is forgettable. Dodrio is also kind of forgettable. Seal is cute. Seal is cute. Dugong is cute. Grimer, cool. Muck, cool. Shelter, well, it's cute, but I feel bad for Shelter because in the newer generations, Shelter is the Pokemon that every other Pokemon seems to eat. I mean, all these Pokedex entries, Shelter just seems to be at the bottom of the just appears like it's at the bottom of the food chain. I'm um, just looks like it's at the bottom of a food of the food chain. I mean, come on. I mean, give it. I mean, give it a break, newer generations. Sheesh. Cloister is cool. Ghastly, solid. Haunter, cool. The entire Gengar line is cool. Mega Gengar is amazing. Onyx is amazing. Drowsy. Hypno. Sorry, I'm traumatized by Hypno's lullaby. Alright. Krabby, it's okay. Kingler is awesome. Kingler is awesome. Voltorb, even more... Voldemort and Electrode are even more Bakugo-like. Do not I think about it. Electrode's more Bakugo-like than Primeape. I mean, Bakugo can make explosions as well as he's always angry, which Electrode is... That Man, Electrode fits that to a T now that I think about it. Alright, Execute. Executor. Cubone, it's... 
it has a sad backstory. Marowak is cool. Marowak is awesome. Hitmonlee and Hitmonchan are cool. Lickitung. What the heck? Coughing is... Well, the strongest Pokemon in 2020. Weezing is the god of 2020. Rhyhorn is cool. Rhydon is even cooler. Chansey. Well, it's good. It's really good competitively, but it's a pain to catch. Tangela. Cool. Like, why am I saying cool? It's just not cool. Until Generation 4 it was in desperate need of an evolution before it got forgotten. Kangaskhan, cool. Mega Kangaskhan. The most broken mega evolution exists in existence. Horsey, cute. Seedra, cool. Goldeen and Seeking, they're bad. Star you and Star Me are cool. The only reason why Mr. Mime is not in D tier is because of the Detective Pikachu movie. Scyther is cool. Jinx. Straight to D tier. Just straight to the boiler room of D tier. Straight to D tier. Just straight right down to the boiler room of D tier. Electabuzz is is cool. Magmar is cool. Pinsir is is kind of ugly. Yeah, it's ugly. Mega Pinsir. Mega Pinsir just looks flat out terrifying, and I love it. Tauros is cool? Question mark. I mean, what did you expect? Gyarados is awesome. Mega Gyarados, despite it not being a dragon type, is still awesome. Lapras is awesome. Well, it's not awesome, but it's cool. Ditto. It's unique, but it's... But if you find one in Pokemon Go right now, if you can find a Ditto in Pokemon Go right now, consider yourself the luckiest person on Earth. Eevee, cute. All three evolutions, a Porygon, Jolteon, and Flareon are both cool. Porygon. I actually really like Porygon now because... Because of my Pokemon Go Journeys episode 2. In the second installment of Pokemon Go Journeys. Featuring Porygon Community Day. Which, not only did I beat my record of how many Shinies I get in one day... But I also get my first ever back-to-back -back shiny. Unfortunately, the microphone was not on, so you couldn't see my reaction. But I was shocked. I was shocked. Like, I actually had to go back and watch the clip afterwards because I genuinely did not believe it. But yeah, link in the description. Almanite is cool. He's Lord Helix. Star is cool. Kabuto is our... Kabuto is alright. Kabutops and Aerodactyl are my favorite... Are my favorite... Kantos... Kabutops and Aerodactyl are both... Are all really cool. And I do like how Aerodactyl got Omega. That's really cool. Snorlax... Snorlax is alright. It's a disgustingly rare spawn in Pokemon Go, which is alright. I think all three of the leg I think the legendary birds are cool. They're not awesome, but they're cool. Articuno, Zapdos, and Moltres. I know some people tend to prefer Articuno and Moltres over Zapdos, but I think they're all cool. 
Dratini and Dragonair are cool. Dragonite is a monster. Yeah. Mewtwo, Mega Mewtwo X, Mega Mewtwo Y are all just absolute monsters in competitive. And Mew is cute. Okay, so this is the final tier list. Final tier list, S tier ended up being Charizard, Mega Charizard X, Mega Beedrill, Pikachu, Raichu, Nidoking, Jigglypuff, Meowth, Arcanine, Poliwag, Poliwhirl, Poliwrath, Mega Alakazam, Mewtwo, Mewtwo X, Machamp, Mewtwo Y, Onix, Mega Gengar, Almanite, Kingler, Gyarados, Voltorb, Electrode, Scyther, Marowak, Mega Kangaskhan, Mega Gyarados, Mega Aerodactyl, Kabutops, Aerodactyl, and Dragonite. A tier ended up being <sighs> Mew, Lapras, Star Me, Hitmonlee, Star You, Hitmonchan. <sighs> Sound like Darth Vader over here. Omastar, Mega Venusaur, The Legendary Birds, Charmander, Charmeleon, Mega Blastoise, <laughs> Mega Pidgeot, Mega Sans, sorry, Sand Slash, Needle Queen, Snorlax, Glyphable, Vulpix, Ninetales, Persian, Psyduck, Eevee, The Evolutions, Tauros, Dratini, Dragonair, Primeape, Growlithe, Mach Machop, Alakazam, Porygon, Machoke, Ponyta, Golem, Rapidash, <sighs> Krabby, Shelter, Cloyster, Rhydon, Ghastly, Gengar, Haunter, Cubone, Magmar, Electabuzz, Mega Pinsir, B tier, Ditto, Bulbasaur, Seedra, Horsey, Kabuto, Venusaur, Ivysaur, Wartortle, Squirtle, Clefairy, Sandshrew, Beedrill, Ekans, Arbok, Wigglytuff, Blastoise, Pidgey, Oddish, Nidorino, Pidgeotto, Vileplume, Rhyhorn, Venonat, Venomoth, Kadabra, Tentacruel, Bellsprout, Geodude, <sighs> Graveler, Slowpoke, Slowking, Magneton, Magnemite, Sea King, and Dugong. C tier is Grimer, Muck, Caterpie, Diglett, Dugtrio, Nidorina, Nidor Nidoran Female, Nidoran Male, Butterfree, Mega Pidgeot, Beat, Fero, Golbat, Psyduck, Coughing, Wheezing, Mankey, Mr. Mime, Drowsy, Kangaskhan, and Pinsir. Pin D tier is Mega Charizard Y, Hypno, Ex Execute, Executor, Spiro, Paris, Parasect, Gloom, Rattata, Mega Slowbro, Rattata, so Eradicate, Rattata, Kakuna, Weedle, Zubat, Abra, Metapod, Weaving Bell, Victory Bell, Tentacool, Farfetch'd, Dodrio, Doduo, Ten Tangela, Lickitung, Chansey, Magikarp, Seedrill, Goldeen, and Jinx. Oh, that took a lot of lung capacity. But anyways, that is the Pokemon. Yeah, that's the Pokemon. That's my Generation 1 Pokemon tier list. So, yeah, it's cool. So, yeah, it's cool. Let me know in the comments how much... Let me know in the comments what do you think of this tier list. And again, the links to the videos that I mentioned will be in the description. Alright? 
for now. This is RC Thunder signing off. Bye-bye.